And we're back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and we're going to be doing... Carrying on on our next mission here in our permadeath to the center of the galaxy playthrough. So, see? Even have it named appropriately. But let's check our log out and see what we got going on next. Now, like we said, we're going to be doing most of this here. We ought to change it up a little bit. Um... The weapons research will be very, very interesting because that ends in a battle. Let's go ahead and do the scientific research because we really need to get that finished up with our, uh, with our dude. There he is. That'll keep going back and forth. And while we're here for the terrain, uh, remainder of our mission here, let's go ahead and put a little more stuff in here. There we go. Don't even need that much. Uh, where are you? There you are. So let's talk to him and see what he has to say. Now that we've put his core back in. Unknown life form. I passed my test. You, I'm free to explore. Free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. You have data to operate on? An observatory would supply some. Think of all that might be done. The Corvax appears to have no memory of our previous encounters. I do not know if they feel reconnected with the Convergence or if they simply do not recall what they should feel like. I should visit an observatory for them and see if the structural analysis they claim to enjoy will prompt a memory. Except, I look forward to seeing the results, Traveler. Okay, so there we are with that. So we're going to continue on with that. Go to the coordinates. We'll get that one done because we do have to do another reboot on him and then we'll continue on. Maybe we'll do the red under a rebel star. Okay, take our special ship here. Get we can get power to engines and go just a little bit quicker now. It says that it's close to this point, but you pretty much can guarantee that it's going to be right here. And it definitely looks like an observatory. Let's wait for it to drop to the ground. There we go. And let's go through some buildings and park. There we go. All right. So we need to go inside. Let's go this way. Why is the parking area always so far away? Okay. So we are here. Grab this while we're here. Always like to get a couple extra nanites. Let's see what it has to say. Data siphon installed. Accessing. The observatory appears to have been calibrated for a single purpose, to locate the interf interfaces of a being the Corvax call the Atlas. So this is our first foray into the Ax Atlas uh, idea. After many years, the important, uh, pardon me, the inhabitant of this facility succeeded in their quest, disappearing without a trace. So we download the data. Okay. We got to return to the scientist now. And if you look at these plants, sometimes they'll give you carbon, but not always. But I do like to pull stuff out of these guys. Condensed carbon is always welcome. Okay. Oh. That has one of these machines here, which means it usually has some buried technology, but I don't see it. It's weird. Go ahead and take something from here. Maybe it'll give me an upgrade or something. Probably just nanites. Okay, that's still, again, nanites, be welcome. Alright, I don't see anything else. Let's go ahead and continue on. Off to our base. These nice little comets and asteroids falling against the planet. Not really comets, they're usually just asteroids. And we will use the landing pad. It's funny because this is actually an observatory as well. Isn't that interesting? There we go. Let's see what he has to say. Traveler, while you have been absent, Corvax has detected anomalies. I feel alone. Perhaps the data will have answer. Will have answer? It's weird. Give the data. This data contains no answers, Traveler. Merely these blueprints for living glass and a beacon. Well, we got those. 
The convergence is absent, Traveler. We, I, can feel myself slipping further. Perhaps that beacon may be of some use. Construct one and the convergence may find me again. Accept. Corvax is grateful, Traveler. I shall also work on my own solution while you investigate the beacon. So, we have to build a beacon. It says to return to the scientist, but uh, hmm, let's see what happens here. Nope, construct a beacon. Okay. To construct a beacon, let's go ahead and check this out. <clears throat> we need two metal plates and 50, 15, 15 sodium nitrate. So, we'll use our big refiner for this. And we'll put some sodium in. We need twice as much sodium as we need to get sodium nitrate. So we'll just do that. And we need two metal plates which require ferrite. That's our ship. There we go. We have enough to make it. Uh, one, two. We're running really low on that, so we're going to have to get more. There we go. There's all 15. Okay, we should have enough to make it now. And we'll put a save beacon right next to our there we go and we can use it anytime we want see restore point okay is the beacon constructed traveler it is we shall wait it may take time for the convergence to follow find me my own research proved fruitless it yielded only blueprints so now we have the autonomous mining unit and the auton at the atmosphere harvester says to return. He waits. Oh, those, atmos those atmosphere harvester and mining unit plans prompted a thought. What if they could be friends for the beacon? What if they could make their own convergence? They shall be my children, traveler. And now he's losing it. I have transmitted a crafted intelligence to the beacon so that they might live and connect as the Corvax do, but it cannot see the world. Bring me scan data that I might teach it. All right. Well, scientist entities Tabby's plan... Seems desperate, but it does seem to have a genuinely made them happier, or at least less anxious about their separation. The Corvax asked me to scan creatures to feed its newly created intelligence. We'll accept that. You, we thank you, Traveler. Okay. So I've got to go um, scan animals. Let's check it out. Scan creatures. Now, one thing we have to do is we got to check to see if have we discovered all the creatures on this planet, all but one. So being on this planet and discovering more creatures isn't going to help us. We've got to go to a different planet. We've discovered all of them there. So we need to go to one of these three. How about this one? one it's all except one. So we need the big unknown planet or the little unknown planet. So we've got to go out and go look for them. Because we're not going to discover any enough animals here to get this done. Off we go. Is that an unknown? Unknown. Okay, frostbound. Yeah, that'll work fine. Should be enough animals on that planet. So let's go ahead and head there. I notice our pulse drive is getting a little light. But we do want it to get all the way down because one of those little uh, units ought to charge it up. Yeah, see, it only requires one. I think we're headed for a land mass. Close enough. And you'd think on these planets that have water on them that if it's a frozen planet, you like find ice. But... All right. So we need four creatures scanned. Okay, take a look. Let's see what we got. Wait for them to show up. There's a couple down there. Okay. Looks like we got one right there. Yeah, it's two. There's a third one. Okay, good. We just need one more. Ah, you'll do. Four. That should be it. That's 13 creatures on this planet, so I think we'll hold off on the rest for now. You know, it's funny, though, so if you want to check that out, there are 3,250 nanites if we can discover all of them. Uh, ground, ground, 
ground ground flying uh, and the rest are underwater that's interesting you know what we may want to take a moment we got two more ground uh, he might be an attacker unafraid and raw meat looks like there's another one over there that might be a flying one yes it is Two. I see one on the ground right there. I didn't, wasn't trying to do that. There. Alright, good. Let's see what we got now. So we got one more ground, two more ground it looks like, and the rest underwater. Uh, let's just take a quick look around. Oh, there's one right there. Ooh, he's a big guy. Wise. Nice. One more ground and four underwater. Okay. So let's head for the water and see what we find, shall we? Nice to have a better jetpack now, right? One more ground one is going to probably be hard to find. But we'll see. Now the water might be colder. Okay, we'll use some of that dioxide that we had in our inventory to get that. Alright, let's see what we got. Looks like we got one creature over there. There it is. Two. Three. Okay, we need one more underwater creature. And then one more ground-based creature, right? Looks like we got one of those abyssal horrors there. You've got to be kidding me. We got it? Alright, so there's all four of the underwater creatures. We just need one land-based creature. Let's head towards our ship again. Uh, let's see. Let's use one of our life support gels for that. Since we have, can get away with just one. Alright. Come on, land-based animals, show up. We need one more land-based animals that we haven't discovered yet, and we've got all 13 creatures, which will net us over 3,000 nanites. Okay, did we hurt ourselves? No? That was pretty neat. Already found you. Need a red dot. Red dot. We need red dots. Comes in handy to be able to do this, by the way. You know, this is probably the easiest way you can get yourself some nanites. Whether it's early game or not. Didn't realize I didn't have my laser on. Always want to get some more sodium. Oh yeah, we do need other stuff, don't we? We needed... Uh, barite. Go. Might as well take it while we're here. Because we need that. So, kind of keep our eyes open for stuff like this. Notice my laser is not getting warm at all, but it's really fast. Nice. 130, nice, good. Really, already? Wow. Good, more geodes. All right, let's see how well we did. Nice. 
got some magnetized ferrite out of that. We can use that later. Okay, so what do we got? Looking for animals. We need one more red dot animal. <clears throat> My voice isn't doing so well this evening, so... I apologize if I keep checking out. Let's get up higher. Lots of animals here, but no red dots. Ah, okay, fine. Uh, what if I want to use two batteries? All right, red dots, red dots. Really, be great if we could find that one last animal. There's always that one animal that you're going to have trouble finding when you've got a whole group of them that you're going for. Sometimes it gives a hint. Sometimes it'll say it's someplace else. Let's find out. Found in the south. So let's take a look at the planet. We're mostly in the north. I don't always believe that, but considering this is actually worth our time... Which way south? So we'll head out to space. And a little further out. And we'll head down. Hopefully there's land here. Because it looks like it's mostly water. Ah, looks like land over there. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. All right, good, good, good. I know this part's kind of boring, but you can see the reason why you'd want to get this. Great if we could find a landing pad, wouldn't it? Nothing? No? We'll give it one more shot. No? Okay, then we're just going to park up here. Okay. So, is this the south? Let's find out. Further south than we were, that's for sure. We'll wait for some animals to show up. Maybe our little red dot will pop up here in a moment. Lots of green. Up, oh, there's our red dot right there. Got him. Excellent. That gets us 3,250 nanites. Look at that. Very, very handy. All right. So we're done here. Head back to the scientist. And we'll get our accomplishment for discovering animals on another planet again. Now we got three planets, right? You see a really low on pulse juice there. That too. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. There we go. So we're not going to recharge them all the way because I was wondering whether we'd want to use two or not. Looks like we bounced off the atmosphere. Well, that was a good test. Now we know. There we go. Alright, back to the scientist. Do you have the data, Traveler? My child cannot see the world as you see it. To share your scans will be to share your consciousness with them. It is a tremendous gift. We hand it in. 
You, what sights? By way of thanks, my child has prepared you a blueprint. They have learned how to make unstable gel. They hope it makes you happy. This is getting a little creepy. Okay. Traveler, this data has raised a concern. As a beacon, my child could receive signals from unknown sources all over the all across the galaxy. I will be unable to protect them from the unsavory thoughts of the Gek or the harsh scans of the Sentinels. If you find ion batteries, I will prepare polyfiber blueprints and we shall weave them a protective cloak. Except. Do not delay, Traveler. Their young mind is very impressionable. Okay, we've already got some in our inventory. So we just gotta wait till it pops back up. See? And then we're there. Have you found the ion batteries, Traveler? Corvax looks anxious. Their connection, disconnection from the convergence and their anxiety for their child is taking its toll. Perhaps the batteries will help them settle. Thank you, Traveler. It is good you, we can protect the little beacon, but I fear it may not be enough. You should take a copy of the poly, polyfiber plans. They may be of some use to you. Now please, give me some time to educate my child. Okay, so there's the polyfiber, and it says we have an hour and a half. So guess what? Let's jump over to the log. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Do the Rebel Star, shall we? Alright, so we got to consult the galaxy map. So let's go ahead and head out. So this is going to be our first pirate system. I think. Get enough episodes in and get all kinds of other things done and you forget where you've been. There it is. So we want you to go right here. Big, pretty big pirate system. Interesting. Let's check it out. Hopefully no battles, because battle could really prove deadly to us at this point. No battles. We gotta head over there. Not the space station. We're gonna head here first. Now we are gonna get into a fight here. But we're gonna do the best we can. I will switch over to making my weapons a little more powerful. Doesn't look like we have anything yet, but this should be a nice crashed vessel. So let's see what we got here. Ugh, soup. So what we're looking for, that's probably not it. I think we're looking for a crashed ship, so let's turn around. Go back the way we came and take a close look at our radar and look for a little dot. Not seeing anything yet. We got storm crystals here, so that's actually worth our time if we can land near a group of them. It's gonna be bad weather out here, so we're gonna have to watch ourselves. Oh crap! Wow. Yeah, the toxic protection dropped so quickly. Wow, that was crazy. Okay, we'll have to wait a minute here. That was close. Glad I stayed near the ship. That was crazy. See how fast that dropped? I mean, my gosh. Oof. So we want to look into getting toxic protection. At least we got some of the uh, storm crystals, so that's a good thing. Because that means we can get more of these... If we knew the uh, the recipe for them, right? 
They're worth quite a bit, as you can see. Didn't realize we had some of that in our inventory. Okay. And hopefully it will clear up in just a moment. We can take a look around. The storm is not clearing, so this is going to take a moment here, folks. Let's see. Let's see how fast. Alright, so the storm is clearing. Let's just jump in the ship and protect ourselves for just another moment while we wait for the storm to completely clear up. Lots of animals here. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. Alright, I'm thinking it might be over there. That could be it. We shall see. Alright. And we're just about there. Good. That way. It's really falling fast. Alright, let's see what we got in the distance there. Okay, so that way we're going to take the ship. And we're going to hover. And go that way. Ah. That could be it, but that doesn't really look like it. Actually, that is it. Ah, see? Look at that. Even if it's not, it's a good find. Alright, there's a pilot here. There might be a pirate here. There's nothing here but the distress beacon of a crashed starship. There is no sign of life. Download the logs. I attempt to salvage what I can from the log of the crashed ship. Sifting through the diagnostic data, they appear to have been the victim of a sudden overwhelming assault. Get the Quark Pick recording among the endless data. The countless warnings and errors triggered by the flames that consumed the ship. There is a fragment of a recording, a window into the starship's final moments. No idea. Something about down. Suddenly the voice changes. The muffled shouts of the pilot fade away, cut through by words that ring out in a clear and powerful tone. Resist the red, we shall cut out its crimson eye. The end of the message is accompanied by a clear navigational signal, a rendezvous point. But for who? We'll take the beacon. Death to the scarlet, errant. Oops, that's not good. Uh, oh, is that a cave? Let's take the cave. Needs to be relative protection. Good. Now, this could come in really handy to have these guys. There we go. We have to take out the Sentinels. We don't really have much of a choice. So let me move up here a little bit. And see if I can see them. Where are they? Straight in front of me. If I can lead them into the cave, I can be in a protection. One down. That they're on to me. Okay, let's go in. Forgot about the toxic protection. Ooh, he's right here. Got him. Good, 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 good. And that, see, got, got my shield boosted back up almost immediately. We've got one more to get. 
He is right over there. There he is. Got him. Done. All right, good deal. Okay, I got some nanites out of that. Let's get our technology. Pick up some supplies. Good. Good. Got it. And what about you? It's a B class. Got a couple of things. Is there anything worth taking out of here? Not really. I'm going to leave it behind. Okay. All right. So what does it say? Deploy the beacon from the inventory. So while we're in our ship, we're going to deploy it from here. Uh, let's see here. There's the beacon. Got some nice Atlanta DM. That's nice. Did we get anything else out of that? I don't think we did. Okay. Not really. All right. Let's do it. Let's see where it leads us. Okay. Fly to the deep space rendezvous point. Okay, that must be up here. Now I see it. Okay. So, so we're going to be fighting again. And we've just switched over power to weapons. So hopefully this should do it. It looks like a... Uh, yeah. Special planet. And we will be heading to the space station eventually. Alright, here we go. Okay, we have to do one thing here. We're going to have to take these guys out. Pick out the other one. Nothing? That's odd. Let's get closer and see what happens. Well, we located the pirate vessel, but nothing's happened. There we go. You wish to follow us to seize your freedom, to reject the grand lies of the Atlas. We shall see if you are worthy of the voice of freedom. Challenge him. I hear only static in reply, a faint laugh, laugh echoing through the noise. Here we go. So I guess we gotta go this way now? Yes, it is. And I'm going to stay like this for now. It's got me bouncing around the entire system here. It's kind of weird. see. 
What do you think? I mean, I do want a solar ship. Another storm going on. I'm loving these I the idea of getting these guys here, but it's gonna get expensive and dangerous. There we go. No, it's not. Not anymore. No, we should do. That way. Okay. So, kind of behind me. Turn around. And it's that way. There's an archive right there. That's interesting. 750, so we're going to go a little further here. Right here? Ah! What have we here? Landing pad by any chance? There is. Excellent. Not interested in the storm, but we'll see what happens here. Love to get more storm crystals, but I don't think I can afford it. Right there. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to get inside there. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Ah. Literally took me just a second too long. There we go. We're able to recharge our shield, though. Because actually, see, you notice that the shield recharges much quicker when you're inside one of these little facilities. Okay, there we go. Let's go to the other one, see if it's got anything in there for us. Okay, there we go. Now, how did our uh, exosuit do? Looks like we're okay. Yeah, get some standing increase. We'll get some nanites. Uh, do we need that? Health at maximum, okay. Should be able to look out the door, so we need to get in there, and the door is on the far side. Huh. Good. I was just thinking to myself, should I wait for the storm to end, or what? Okay. Let's go. That should be long enough. you hear that? Okay, never mind. Okay, we are here. More navigation data we probably don't need anymore at this point, but I'm assuming the terminal, right? Yes, okay. Glorious survivor, welcome. The path to liberty is something shall be our own masters. Rid of the crimson illusion, a sky for the strong. It's broadcast finished. The terminal begins printing a secure pass. An invitation, it seems, to meet this voice of freedom. Accept the invitation. Okay. So here we go. we got to go back to our ship, which is directly behind us through the crappy weather out here. And there we go. Where to? Deploy the ticket from the inventory. Okay. Here we go again. I haven't fought anybody yet, except for a couple of those uh, corrupted sentinels. Okay. Let's take off and see where we're going. Find a space and access the galaxy map. Okay. If you say so.
And there we go. So this wasn't a pirate system. This is a pirate system, as you can see by the big pirate head on there. Okay, and the little one, of course, right next to the name. Good, 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 good. Now let's see if we have a battle here. Hopefully not, because these battles would be nasty in a pirate system. Nothing? Good. Is it leading me to the station? Nope, leading me there. Okay, nope, wants me to go to the station. go. First pirate station. Alright, so we're here. Now what? Okay, so it can tell us about outlaw systems if we wish to do that. It should tell me next... Oh, that's interesting. Why am I going to the Armorer's Planet? What does that have to do with anything? Okay, so speak to those aboard and locate the Voice of Freedom. Welcome, glorious survivor. Here there are no Gek, no Corvax, no Viking. Here we speak one tongue. Here we are free. Ask about the Voice of Freedom. Only the strong deserve to sing with the glorious voice of freedom. We didn't, do not permit the weak to find us. Okay, so. Welcome, new face. To us, to find us is to be chosen. To find us is to be free. We ask about the voice. There are those who would deny us our freedom, new face. Those who would sacrifice everything to appease the sentinels. But the voice keeps us free. Okay, so that's two... The Crimson Fiend corrupts minds across the galaxy. No more will we prostrate ourselves before its all-seeing red eye. To speak with the voice of freedom is to roar back against the Crimson Void. It is glory itself. Okay. Let's go talk to someone else. You look good. Dread Pirate. You are one of us now, New Face. You are bonded to us. You are free. The voice is not one voice, but many. It is our voice. It is your voice. You sing with our choir now. And we have our Shroud of Freedom. Okay, so we got to review our objectives, explore the Outlaw Station, examine the Subverted Station Core. Okay, so one thing we can do, if you'd like, we can go here. Let's get our upgrade. Yep, we need an extra spot. Let's go ahead and grab it. Put it up top. We can also, if you want... Uh, for the head, we can choose now our Shroud of Freedom if we want. We're on the Fearsome Visor at the moment, but we can do this if we wish. So we have our Shroud of Freedom now, but we'll keep with the Fearsome Visor. Okay. We can also check multi-tools. C-Class, nothing special. It doesn't have anything in there we want. Got plenty of ships on here. There's my ship, of course. But normally the ships that arrive here are solar ships, so we'll keep an eye open for them. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, let's see. He's got some decent stuff in here. Larval cores, not guys. Ship shield updaters. You can buy these and sell them in other systems, too. Let's see what we have to sell. Anything at all. Not really. Go up here to the top first. Okay, good. And we can get rid of that. We got plenty of, of, of units right now. We really don't need to sell anything. We do have storage augmentations. I think I'm hanging on to them, though. Why should I? I'm not going to sell them. So let's go over here to the... We'll go to him in a moment. Let's go here and upgrade our ship real quick. 
and apply the augmentation. I want to go up top. We got enough down here. But we're running out of room quickly up here. Let's get this blank spot opened up. I should have taken them both, but let me go ahead and grab that one too. Okay. All right, good deal. Um, we wanted to talk to this guy. We got plenty of nanites now. I just grab some carbon. <laughs> All right, so we can get hazard protection, movement modules, uh, photon cannon. Yeah, we really could use that on our ship. Let's go ahead and grab one. Uh, let's see what else we got. Old caster upgrade wouldn't be a bad idea. Hyperdrive, you think? Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get the movement module. And I'm thinking one more hyperdrive. Okay, that'll work for now. Let's see what we ended up with. The bolt caster. Plus one damage. So it gave us a little more damage potential. So that's nice. So 28.99. Oh, knocked it up to 30.21. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, where's our... Okay. I think we can add one more. No, we can't. Okay, so what does this give us? 161. It's not nowhere near as good. So we're going to go ahead and undo it, and we'll get some stuff out of it, right? There we go. This is our photon cannon, which is right there, but it's not going to do too much for us. Plus three fire rate. Yeah, it's nowhere near as good as these things. So we'll unload that, and we'll get more stuff out of it for inventory. Notice we got more cadmium out of it, so that's kind of handy. Hyperdrive. That's our pulse drive. That's, I think, our hyperdrive over here. No, it's not. Where's our hyperdrive at? Is this the hyperdrive? Yes, it is. Boy, we really need more room, don't we? There. No. That's our cannon. That's our hyperdrive over here. Okay. So what's our hyperdrive range? 804, it gives us 813. 919, okay, that is a hyperdrive upgrade. This is 174 and 86. So that gives us a little, big, little bit of a boost there. All right, well, that's handy. That's what you can get. Sometimes you get something better, sometimes you don't. All right, who else we need to talk to? We need to talk to him. We're not going to take any missions yet. Okay, so you get the missions. You can do stuff. Okay. And we're going to go all the way to the back. Crimson Core. Life support systems, commercial monitoring, disabled. Station funds is primed for freedom. Atlas Aeron Surveillance Uplink rejected. Request Voice of Freedom. Glorious Survivor, the promised star will be yours. Glass, 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 glass. And that's it. Return to your ship and begin undocking procedures, which will start something else. Watch. Nothing. Okay, let's go. I want to go ahead and undock. Exit clearance pending. The voice of freedom will not permit the Atlas silence. New face carries our voice. You must hide your trail. Take this document, disrupt traffic records at a station core. Your voice will be free in the darkness. So we're going to accept the task. We now have a forged passport. Okay. We cannot take the um, teleporter to a regular station from here. So we're going to have to go here. And which does our... I think that's our home system, isn't it? I think it is. Let's go ahead and head there. Unless it's another pirate system. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. That would be weird. Now, the big thing is that we can't be attacked. Good. Now we 
don't want to be scanned by the cargo authorities. I have no idea what that is. Oh, okay. This is... I know what this is. I'm not reading it. Don't worry about it. This is for a settlement. Okay. So we need to go to the core. Let's get back over here because it's not giving us the... There we go. And you go to the station core. High alert. Unusual activity detected. Beginning travel database scans. We need to disrupt the records with the forged passport. We can denounce the voice of freedom. So if you have another save game, you can denounce the voice of freedom and you get a different achievement. That gives you a different title. So this actually gives you a title. Either you have joined the voice of freedom or you're rejecting it. So if you have a second game save, go ahead and do this one more time and denounce it. I'm going to go ahead and disrupt. Registration document accepted. Traffic patterns unexceptional. And there we go. You're done. Under a Rebel Star is now complete. Or it should be. Let me see. And it is no longer here. So we've completed Under a Rebel Star. Planetary distress is for the uh, settlements. That's probably the one thing I am, I am not going to do here. But we are going to go back and do the scientific research in our next mission. We just need to get back to our base. So let's head for our base real quick. Right here. And then we're going to call this episode complete. So here we go. Excellent. So that was a pretty good episode. We got a little bit more of our scientists completed, and we were able to complete under Rebel Star uh, without too much uh, uh, mayhem. Uh, it was a little bit sketchy there in the cave, but you know we, we were able to take out the Sentinel, so that that's important. There we go, and here's our base, and we're done, and that should do it. So we'll return to our scientists in a, in a little bit. Um, we've got, like I said, about an hour to go. Um, they're educating their beacon child, and we will come back and talk to them about whatever they've got going on. So that should do it here, folks. I want to thank you all for watching, and we're going to pick this up in our next episode. So uh, feel free to leave any comments you'd like behind and any questions, of course. We'll see you again in the next episode. Take care, everybody.